Nicki Minaj is always at the center of controversy for her racy videos and unapologetic attitude. We are narrowing it down to the most controversial moments in Nicki's career so far. First up, we are throwing it back to the 2012 Grammys when Nicki Minaj brought an interesting plus one to the award show. The rapper stirred up major controversy from the moment she arrived on the red carpet to her shocking performance. And it comes as no surprise that Nicki would show up in a daring ensemble, but it wasn't her Scarlet Cape by Versace that turned heads. She arrived to the 54th annual Grammy Awards with a fake pope on her arm. Then she continued with Catholic references in her Roman holiday performance. You have to see for yourself. Oh, but it gets better, or some critics might say worse, when she performed a full out exorcism on stage. The rapper said it was simply, quote, a coming out party for Roman. Talking about me, you're talking about me. I tell your mother, you're talking about me. They must be smoking a couple of OC. They want that outline, I get them a go if there's one person who keeps things interesting, it's Nicki Minaj and her alter ego. But exorcisms and church hymns, they just don't mix well, so we definitely see why she caught heat for this one. Number two, during the 2011 elections, Nicki Minaj had everyone talking, even President Obama, when she appeared to endorse Mitt Romney in a song. Her verse on Lil Wayne's dedication for a mixtape was definitely surprising, especially since Barack Obama was running for re-election. I'm a Republican voting for Mitt Romney. You lazy this up the economy. But the Young Money rapper's lyrics received presidential pardon after Obama played it cool in a radio interview. He said, quote, I'm not sure that's actually what happened. I think she had a song on there, a little rap that said that, but she likes to play different characters, so I don't know what's going on there. Nikki took to Twitter to thank the president for understanding her, shutting down all rumors that she was a Republican supporter. She wrote, ha, thank you for understanding my creative humor and sarcasm, Mr. President. The smart ones always do. Sins, love, and support. Number three, Nicki Minaj teamed up with her Young Money label mates to put out the lyric video called Only, but it was a video imagery that left many outraged. While many fans would agree the song was catchy, the actual visuals threw many off as it was very reminiscent of Hitler's reign over Germany. Nazi flags, armbands, and gas masks are seen throughout the video. And to make matters worse, it was released on the 76th anniversary of the Night of Broken Glass, which signaled the beginning of the Holocaust. <sighs> Nikki cleared things up very quickly when she received backlash, tweeting an apology and assured everyone the concept was not her idea. She wrote, quote, I am very sorry and take full responsibility if it has offended anyone. I'd never condone Nazism in my art. It seems like we can cut her some slack for this one. I mean, I don't think Drake, a Jewish rapper, would sign onto a project that suggests such disturbing and insensitive images towards Jews. Number four, Nicki Minaj broke the internet when she released her Anaconda video, and boy, did she shake things up in the music world. He can tell I ain't missing no meals. Come through and f him in my automobile. Let him eat it with his grills. Keep telling me to chill. He keep telling me it's real that he love my sex appeal. He said he don't like I'm bony. He wants something he can grab. There is so much booty in this video, people didn't know whether to look away or be mesmerized. Miley Cyrus even imitated the Anaconda cover art, and Nicki was unimpressed with that form of flattery. The rapper received praise and criticism for the explicit content, saying it's overtly sexual and too much focus on her butt. Of course, the artist and Nicki took to social media to defend herself, posting a series of booty photos deemed acceptable by society. Proving her point that she shouldn't be criticized for having a little more junk in the trunk. Which brings us to number five. Nicki's buns are immortalized in wax at Madame Tussauds. When her wax statue was revealed, Nicki's replica is seen on all fours. The museum offered guests a chance to win cool prizes for the best selfie, and honestly, could you not see this one coming? Fans immediately took advantage of Nikki's statue by licking it, throwing money, and um, assuming positions that are just plain wrong. Now security is at an all-time high for the Nikki duplicate, but hey, you have to admit they are hilarious and don't come as a surprise with a position like that. Let me know which controversial moment made your skin crawl the most, or which moment was completely inexcusable. Sound off in the comments below.